On a quiet night, just as the world seems to slow down, a strange chorus begins. From ponds, rice fields, drainage canals and forest edges, a rhythmic croaking fills the air. It can sound peaceful, eerie, or even annoying, depending on where you are and how loud it gets. But have you ever stopped to wonder why frogs choose the night to perform their noisy symphony? Why not croak during the day, when everything is already loud? Why wait until darkness falls before announcing their presence to the world? The answer lies in a fascinating mix of survival, biology, evolution, and romance. Tonight, we're diving into the hidden reasons why frogs croak at night. And once you understand them, you may never hear that nighttime chorus the same way again. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Frogs are primarily nocturnal creatures, meaning they are most active at night, and croaking is closely tied to their daily rhythm. During the day, frogs face higher risks from predators such as birds, snakes, and mammals that hunt using sight. Bright daylight makes frogs easier to spot, especially since many species rely on camouflage rather than speed to survive. At night, darkness provides a natural layer of protection, allowing frogs to move around, forage, and communicate with less risk of being eaten. Croaking is a loud and revealing activity, so doing it under the cover of darkness significantly increases their chances of survival. In simple terms, night gives frogs the confidence to be heard without being seen. Another major reason frogs croak at night is temperature. Frogs are cold-blooded, which means their body temperature depends on their environment. Cooler nighttime temperatures help prevent dehydration, a serious risk for amphibians with moist, permeable skin. Croaking requires energy and airflow through the lungs and vocal sacs, and frogs are more comfortable performing these activities when the air is cool and humid. Nighttime conditions are often ideal, especially after rain allowing frogs to stay active longer without drying out. This is why frog choruses are often loudest on warm, wet nights, when conditions are perfect for both survival and communication. The most important reason frogs croak at night, however, is mating. Croaking is not random noise. It is a carefully evolved mating call, primarily made by male frogs. Each species has its own unique call, like a musical signature, designed to attract females of the same species while avoiding confusion with others. Nighttime is the prime breeding period for many frogs, and croaking acts as both an advertisement and a competition. A louder, deeper, or more consistent call often signals a healthier and stronger male, increasing his chances of attracting a mate. When you hear dozens of frogs croaking together, you're essentially listening to a nighttime dating scene where every call is saying, I'm here, I'm strong, and I'm ready. Croaking at night also helps frogs avoid acoustic competition. During the day, the environment is already filled with noise from insects, birds, wind, and human activity. These sounds can interfere with frog calls, making them harder for females to detect. At night, the soundscape changes. Many birds go silent, human activity decreases, and sound travels farther in the cooler, denser air. This gives frog calls more clarity and reach, allowing them to be heard across ponds and wetlands. The stillness of the night turns their croaks into powerful signals that can travel surprisingly long distances. Interestingly, frogs don't just croak to attract mates. They also use their calls to establish territory. 
When multiple males gather in the same area, croaking becomes a way to say, this spot is taken. By calling consistently from one location, a male frog warns rivals to keep their distance, reducing physical fights that could lead to injury. Nighttime gatherings make this system more effective, as many frogs are active at the same time and can clearly hear each other's calls. The result is an organized, if noisy, nighttime communication network that keeps conflict low and breeding opportunities high. Predator avoidance plays another subtle role in nighttime croaking. While croaking does attract attention, it also confuses predators when many frogs call at once. This phenomenon, known as the confusion effect, makes it difficult for predators to pinpoint the exact location of any single frog. A lone croak might be risky, but a full chorus creates an overwhelming wall of sound. Combined with darkness, this strategy reduces the chance of any one frog being targeted. In a way, the loudness of the group becomes a form of protection. It's also worth noting that not all frogs croak at night in the same way. Some species are more active at dusk while others continue calling well past midnight. Environmental factors such as moonlight, rainfall, season, and habitat all influence croaking behavior. During breeding season, which often coincides with rainy months, nighttime croaking can become almost constant. Outside of breeding season, frogs may be much quieter, even at night. This variation shows that croaking isn't just a habit. It's a flexible behavior shaped by environmental cues and biological needs. In the end, frogs croak at night because night offers the perfect balance of safety, comfort, and opportunity. Darkness hides them from predators. Cool and humid air protects their delicate skin, and quiet surroundings allow their calls to travel far and clear. Most importantly, nighttime croaking plays a crucial role in reproduction, helping frogs find mates and ensure the survival of their species. So the next time you hear frogs croaking outside your window, remember, you're not just hearing noise. You're listening to an ancient nighttime ritual, one that has echoed through wetlands and forests for millions of years, telling a story of survival, communication, and life continuing under the cover of night. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.